Why hello there, welcome back to my channel. It's great to have you here once again. If it's your first time checking the show, you know what to do, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and of course, leave me a comment down below with all your feelings, thoughts, and suggestions. I'll make sure to promptly ignore them and keep on moving on. Oh, oh, oh. So I must have stumbled upon one of maybe the most disgusting images I've seen in a very, very long time. And if you know anything about my internet usage, you'll know that I have a slight penchant for the more deplorable things that you might find in the interweb. I stumbled upon one of the most grossest, disgustingest images I've ever seen in my entire life. And if you're wondering where that gross and disgusting image came from, none other than Burt Kreischer. So that's why I ask you right now, my dear fellow loyal viewers and listeners, is Burt Kreischer the most disgusting stand-up comedian of all time? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you're wondering, oh, I guess, you know, you're kind of exaggerating, you're making a mountain, a mole, what's that, what's that saying go? A mountain out of a molehill a molehill out of a mountain you're making a mini into a ford jeep whatever that saying goes then take a look at this horrendous horrendous picture don't you think that's one of the most disgusting things that you've ever seen and if you're wondering this is from Burt Kreischer's Instagram and this is the following on the caption first time washing my sheets in hashtag Serbia guess which side of the bed I sleep on hashtag and of course I think he um, tags maybe his wife there he's god you know god bless that wife of his god bless that wife of his and um when i first saw this image i couldn't really quite understand what was going on but then when you zoom in a little bit what you clearly see is you know one side of the bed is completely drenched in sweat um that pillow looks like it hasn't been changed since but actually touched down in Serbia. And if you're wondering why he's there, he's filming a movie about the machine story, which is a great for him because he's been telling that story way too often. It's obviously an amazing story, don't get me wrong, but it's a great way to kind of end it, you would hope so, by making this hit movie that will obviously end up probably doing really well. And then he'll end up going on tour and retain that story all over again. But hey, I think he deserves it because that story is flipping incredible. But he's out there in Serbia filming this movie. And um, yeah, it looks like when he's away from his wife, the the lack of self-care is very evident and it's quite disturbing on one side right if you think about it from the sort of like you know from a macro point of view there is pretty disgusting to see but then also it kind of throws up a question as to how you like your artist do you like your artist to kind of you know ride on the kind of the edges of insanity on the edges of self-destruction or do you want them to be nice and safe buttoned up and going to church every sunday because unfortunately if you're a fan of burt crash's stand-up and you like what he does on podcasts and you just like his overall demean on your social medias you're gonna have to accept that this is part and parcel of what makes him great of all those other things i've said many times myself i'm not really the biggest fan of burt crash when it comes to appearing on podcasts i think personally i would you know no, it's not really for me i kind of have to take him in small doses but when it comes to crafting good jokes there is really no one that comes near him and um, within that little la comedy scene they have there with the whole podcast and stuff he's a real supreme talent when it comes to the ability to perform on stage and do stand up his special hey big boy is still one of my most favorite in recent years something that i rewatch quite often and made to me laugh you know continuously you know and I, and I can't be said for a lot of the stand-ups i watch especially some of the specials i watched on netflix so for sure this guy is supremely talented at what he does but unfortunately in order to kind of uh, breathe life into such amazing stand-up specials as hey big boy you kind of have to operate on the fringes of insanity on the fringes of um awfulness and this bed is a kind of manifestation of it. it's living manifestation because essentially what this bed tells you is that this man is in how this bird crash maybe late 40s or something right i'd imagine maybe early 60s yeah however old the guy is and he's probably having he's lived most of his life being taken care of right or, t or someone's taking care of him whether it's you know living with parents and now obviously with his wife and his children and they've kind of come to some sort of agreement where they basically allow him to be a big kid allow him to kind of you know operate in this um consistent state of arrested development so that he can tap into his quote-unquote silly goose side and be able to bring his best when he's on stage because if he's responsible if he's a um a normal adult who kind of knows how to look after himself and you know takes um some sort of pleasure and care in his personal hygiene then maybe that might negatively affect the comedy that he does because part of this of course with the sweats i've read online i'm not really um you know familiar with this because i don't really have um, many alcoholics in my family but from what i know allegedly having these sort of like sweats when you're in bed it somehow has to do either you being severely overweight and also you being also a kind of you know closet alcoholic in some way shape or form which you know you would obviously argue against and say hey i just enjoy a drink here and there which is fine by me but 
it really does raise the question about the artists that you follow because I find with some of my most favorite artists I think of somebody like a Kanye West the reason why that guy is so amazing is because he might have a couple of screws loose and the moment he gets his life sorted out and he kind of becomes stable and sort of becomes a reasonable quote-unquote normal human maybe we don't get those crazy trainers maybe we don't get those crazy um, activations and collaborations and stuff you don't get you don't get you know buttonless blue jackets from Gap if somebody you know decides not to take their medicine a couple of days it might personally harm him and it might personally destroy his own family but for us as consumers and listeners we get to reap the benefits of it so the next time you're criticizing somebody that you love for doing something a bit crazy and you are bemoaning why they don't just act quote-unquote normal think of Burt Kreischer think of his bed and think of the sweat stains all over it think of his dear wife think of his lovely daughters who have to kind of enjoy that stuff but also think of the numerous you know lovely holidays they get and great presents and the best schools that they attend because their father is allowed to be a little bit of a big baby and do what the hell he wants if you're a fan of Burt Kreischer and you love what he does make sure you smash that like button below and of course leave me your thoughts feelings and suggestions I'd love to ignore them cheers peace